Let's move to the major story of the day. On July the 17th, the president wrote to the National Assembly requesting for an approval of a supplementary budget or environment of $164 billion to fund the 2019 general and presidential elections. He said the $164 billion requested as supplementary is to enable the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to commence preparation for the polls. President Buhari explained in that letter that the total amount required for the 2019 election is 242 billion and asked that the National Assembly to remove a total of 228 billion as reinstatement from the court padded 578 billion in the 2018 budget to fund critical projects. Now, the Senate has a joint plenary for two months. The lawmakers are to reconvene on the 25th of September. That is not the only problem. The National Assembly members are now drenched in the battle of who has the highest numbers. I mean, the defections that rocked both chambers. Don't forget us, though, that the PDP had come out today that there are surreptitious uh, uh, movements and plans to impeach Senator Bulukola Saraki as a Senate president. So there are implications to all of this because a lot of people believe when they resume, they are going to force do uh, the issues of uh, uh, the political issues involving the defections. So let's get talking on this one. Don't forget that in 2011, on the day of the first election, that's the first election handled by Professor Jäger, the election was postponed on that day due to some logistics issue. On the panel tonight from our Buja studio is a lawyer, a rights activist, Mr. Eze Onyekwere, and also, he's a former lawmaker himself, a lawyer, Honorable West Idahosa. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time on the program. Let me begin with you, um, Mr. Onyekwere. What we have on our hands, the budget that was presented to the National Assembly, the time that it was presented to the National Assembly, and the time which the elections will hold in 2019, is election in trouble. The election may be in trouble. I can't say with certainty it must be, but it may be in trouble. Because ordinarily, one had expected that the executive would have come up with the budget as early as January, February to the National Assembly so that they could deliberate on it and approve of them before the end of the first quarter or at most at the end of the second quarter. So presenting a budget in July, the third quarter, for elections that we hold in February is... Uh, is not just a normal process. It's out of the, it's out of normal thought. And then, of course, uh, remembering the challenge between the executive and the legislature, the problems they've been having, and the recent defections and manipulations in the both the Senate and the House. So they proceeded on vacation. Ordinarily, they should have stayed back for a couple of days and looked at it, deliberated on it, and approved of them before proceeding on their vacation. So there was steadiness on the part of the executive, which has been compounded compounded by the challenge of the problem between the executive and the legislature. So that's the unfortunate situation we, may, we have on our hands. So the 2019 elections may be in a little problem, but there's nothing that says it must be a problem. Uh, the, the scenario you're painting is very grave. And, uh, and I would like to ask you this question. Uh, uh, is there a possibility, a worst-case scenario, that that election may not hold as shattered if all these political gymnastics that we're seeing uh, does uh, play out to the very end? Yeah, there's that possibility, and the election could be shifted for a couple of days or a couple of weeks to accommodate the new developments. Uh, it has happened before, and it could still happen again. But like I did say, it is an unfortunate scenario because the election had been fixed for uh, over four years ago. So we knew of this battle. It's not like it was suddenly thrust on us. So there was absolutely no reason for the list of mission. And there is also no good excuse for the adjournment without necessarily considering that budget. Indeed, my expectation is that the National Assembly should reconvene if it is for three, four days or one week, and then deliberate on that and other matters of urgent national importance and then go back on the RSS. That's my expectation.
Honorable Wesley Daosa, do you think that the National Assembly will perhaps listen to the call of someone like uh, Mr. Oyekwere? He's given them an advice for free, something that might save our elections come 2019. Do you think they might heed to that and reconvene? Well, it is very arguable whether they will heed to that because you have to realize that even the hurried postponement or recess uh, was based on the political exigencies on ground at the time. Do not forget what happened, the siege that was laid uh, for the Senate president and, of course, the deputy Senate president, and then the tense atmosphere uh, about what will happen to the presiding officers, and then the need to protect their interests and that of the Senate in defense of the autonomy of the legislature and necessitated the quick recess. And then the casualty for that was that there was no consideration uh, of the budget for the election, which in the first place uh, was brought quite late. And you must understand that um, this budget that you seek for the election is largely an attempt to uh, move funds from the funds that were put in the budget in the first place by the assembly men and women for other reasons, largely for constituency projects Development. So that would be the first friction that will occur between the executive and the legislature. And then the second one would be whether or not when they do resume, the issues of who is going to be leader or who will not be leader will not take the place of expediency in passing the budget. Because if that happens, it will mean that um, the budget may not be passed within time and the possibility that the election will be postponed will become imminent. But uh, if you look at what is playing out right now, uh, uh, th there are fears that uh, the PDP has fears that Saraki, uh, there are plans to impeach Saraki or to remove Saraki as a Senate president. But as it stands right now, uh, the worst case scenario, paint it for us. You've been in the National Assembly. How fast should they just uh, consider what the president has said? And let's assume they, they take what the president said and they agree with it easily. What is the earliest time that we can have this budget passed? Well, of course, you have to realize that that will depend on the ease of doing business in the National Assembly. When the senators uh, reconvene and they allow the business of the day to take place from session to session without trying to force a leadership change because the numbers are not there now, then, of course, it is likely that the budget, will be, the budget debates will take place uh, expeditiously and passed in good time. But, of course, if they try to force the leadership change, and that will not be surprised given the quick intervention of executive agencies in the affairs of parliament, as we have witnessed in Benue, then there will be a filibuster. The presiding officers may decide uh, to again call another recess because they have to defend their seats. Uh, Oh. If you intend to remove them illegally. All right, let's go on a short break. Uh, my guest on the, uh, on the panel to, tonight on the program, Mr. Eze Onyekwere, a rights activist. He looks into these kind of issues every day. And Honorable Wesley Dawson is bringing the National Assembly before they're giving us insight into what may happen to the 2019 general elections. Don't go anywhere. There's some very important area of this conversation that we'll get into after now, everyone. Join us again. <laughs>